Welcome to this week's episode of Ben's Most Wanted Fugitives, where every week you can see the most wanted fugitives on Ben's radar. If you have any information about any fugitive in this video, contact the Bell Enforcement Network or your local law enforcement immediately. Do not attempt to apprehend. Coming in at number one is Frankie Kashan Newberry Jr. Frankie is 18 years old, 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighs 180 pounds, and is wanted in Albany, Georgia for aggravated assault and aggravated battery and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime. Frankie is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Next up on the Ben radar is Ethan Couch. Ethan is wanted for a probation violation out of Tarrant County, Texas. Ethan is wanted by both the Tarrant County Sheriff Department and the U.S. Marshals. Ethan was given probation after being convicted for killing four people while driving drunk at the age of 16. Ethan's mother, Tanya Couch, has been listed as missing in all law enforcement databases and is traveling with Ethan in her black Ford pickup. Here's what the Tarrant County Sheriff has to say about Ethan Couch. Learned that Ethan Couch's probation officer could not reach him this week. What went through your mind? I was not surprised. I predicted two years ago that something bad was going to happen of this. It didn't shock me at all. I, I wasn't surprised at all that he ran, particularly in light of the video that had surfaced. I'm sure he believed that his probation was getting ready to be in jeopardy, if not completely revoked. So I, I wasn't at all shocked. I'd been expecting something like this for the last two years. You say not surprised. Were you upset? I was upset. I was upset at the time. I'm frustrated to have done what he did, take four innocent lives, impact those families in a way that none of us can fathom, and not ever express one sentiment of remorse, not ever have any guilt feelings or bad feelings. It was all about him. What could he do? to get out of it. And so I'm frustrated. I was frustrated then. I'm frustrated now. I want him to be held accountable once and for all. Those families deserve that. He deserves that and society deserves that. So we are frustrated. The, the, the nation is frustrated. I'm bombarded with people that are just outraged that he is now on the run and not, not being held accountable yet again. Sheriff, you think he may be out of the country? I wouldn't be surprised. They. They had a good head start. You know, he reported to his probation officer and hasn't been seen since. Uh, I, I don't believe they're the kind of people that would have run a short distance. I believe they planned this. I'm not going to be at all surprised if they are out of the country. I don't have any intelligence information telling me that. But my gut feeling says they've gone a long way. They have the money. They have the ability to disappear. And I'm fearing that they have gone a long way and may even be out of the country. Well, my sympathies continue to go to the families he's hurt. And for Ethan and his mother, you can run, but you're always going to be looking over your shoulder. We're not going to give up. We're going to come after you. We're going to find you wherever you are. The FBI, the U.S. Marshals and us are all going to be looking until we find you. You won't rest easy a day. You'll always be running, and we're going to come get you. And we're going to do everything we can to hold mm -hmm. Ethan finally accountable. Here's what you can do to help your community stay safe. Number one, subscribe to this channel and share the wanted videos with your friends and other social media. Number two, if you see something, say something. And number three, click the link in the description to learn how to capture and collect rewards. That's all for now. We'll see you next Friday for another edition of Ben's Most Wanted Fugitives.